Okay, so now let's start by doing the exclusions and uh, the first thing I do also after the exclusions it's to apply all the general parameters that uh, you have in common with all the gates that is I'll explain it to you first of all to activate the GSX menu you know you can do it with uh, control shift F12 and it will open the menu here but you can also configure it through here okay in the last option which is here now uh, if you want to go to choose all the gates in one area in the gate area of uh, Heathrow I mean there are other gates that do have also gates here see the Bravo has a couple of gates also here I'm not sure I've done those on the, on the totally customized I, th I believe I'd have but in any case see there's some more here yeah I believe I did so but let's take one area only okay and let's take the gate area I'm sure that if you choose others that have the J by it if they're opened see the left there you go yeah okay now you filter all of them and no 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 okay so now you go here and it will choose all the all the jetways you see there you go on that terminal it hasn't done the rest I think you cannot only do it from section to section okay so now we've chosen all the gateways that have a jetway all the uh, parking positions that have a jetway and we're gonna ask GSX2 to exclude them which we already did hmm okay now we're gonna exclude them okay now um, this in my computer that it's it's a pretty powerful machine uh, it takes a few seconds to do it because there's 116 positions that you're customizing so uh, after a few seconds you this will you will know that you're ready for uh, for uh, working on the different jetways after you see that a default jetway is placed on the locations that you have selected to be excluded you see I have now a jetway in the only position that I can because these two as I mentioned in the introduction are part of the architecture they're not single objects okay but there are other things that all the jetways in my case have in common and this is going to save you some time when customizing jetway by jetway okay first of all I'm going to make sure that no parking selection that no marshal because usually you place a marshal in here so I place no marshal okay that way none of the positions will have a marshal and it wouldn't and they will not have a docking device this uh, airport has its own docking device okay what else have they in common now I've changed this to 70 because uh, that's um, you know sometimes you go to a gate and it's gonna let you it's gonna tell you it's gonna give you the error that that parking posi uh, position is too small for you now this is where you tell them which is your size if you press here it's going to tell you the size of your airplane so what I do here is I press 70 to make sure that all the jetways are good to be uh, uh, parked by any plane of course you're not going to go to a small parking position with a 747 so that would not make any sense but at least this way I make sure that none of them is going to give me that error you can also do it by you know by the by the plane on each gate but it, it takes you more time and it's kind of annoying in any case um, 
I'm not going to touch the parking position. I'm not going to touch any of these things, okay? Because those are really uh, custom for every jetway or every parking position. Now, the name of the jetway, what I do here is I always put GSX2 jetway as when it so that when it offers me to open a jetway i know that he's talking about a gsx2 uh, then i choose this one in in this case you can choose any one but the one i like for the scenery is the glass of this size you know the 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 numbers on the right indicate the size of the jetway you have all types of jetways here to choose from you have the colors. I press default in here. I could press white because they're whitish, but I don't know. For some reason, certain jetways don't. There's not much a difference between white and default. And um, I'm going to make sure they don't have any ground markings. Now, sometimes here, instead of a check mark, you're going to see a black box. That means that certain gates already have different values in it therefore if you press twice in here you'll make sure that you get rid of the black box and you apply that concept to all the jetways i want also the power unit and i want a logo and i'm going to put because i'm lucky enough to have the hsbc which is the original logo for gadwick and when i say original it's at one point they might have this uh, regarding the the ads. There was one uh, you, one uh, person in the FSDT uh, forum that was complaining about the ad that I placed in a, on a on a particular scenery that I shared, and that doesn't make any sense because if there's ads, the advertisement usually changes from time to time, so you don't know what you're gonna find in the real life. So I'm not that kind of picky and the gate number now um, by default gsx offers you the possibility of having a white and blue box here you'll see it here you'll see it better when we get rid of the exclusions but you see this this airport uses yellow letters on a black background now to change that we have the font is yellow okay and then the background i'll switch to black and i press ok now this is common to all the jetways okay now of course you're going to see in certain parking positions i'm going to have to switch the size of the jetway because otherwise i'll get one of the other of the other annoying messages that is no jetway is available for this position because it's usually that your jetway is too big or too small okay so let's apply this to the whole airport and uh, that shouldn't take that long and now it's done you see now we have a different uh, jetway and we are going to exit the simulator now because it's the only way to make sure that the exclusions take place so we're going to open the gsx control panel and here it tells me that already that i have 116 exclusions these are all the airports i've already made and uh, not all of them need exclusions for example sceneries that do not have any jetways whatsoever which there are a few of them uh, you don't have, you're not excluding anything, you're just adding a jetway, so therefore you don't need to compile. So now we compile this, and I'll be back as soon as I load again the simulator. So we are back in the cabin again, and uh, just to show you that uh, here in all the possible uh, gates that we can exchange between GSX2 and the default scenery, have already taken place. You see, they all have a gate number. So I showed you how to do a global change, and I'm going to get rid now, rid of now of the parking. Here, I'll press here again, and I'm going to tell them to get rid of the gate number because we don't need it uh, for this scenery. Okay, since it really works 
without it. You have it right there. You don't need another number there. Okay, so I'll see you now in the second chapter, which is how to customize a Jetaway.